Hello all, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we'll have a look on ASP.NET Core 2.0 applications and how to deploy these applications to Azure Web App using Visual Studio 2017. Let's get started. For this, you need to have uh, a Microsoft Azure account for accessing Azure services. You need to get installed ASP.NET Core 2.0 SDKs along with Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3. So now we are into Visual, Visual Studio 2017 version 15.3. Let's start with creating a new application. Select ASP.NET Core applic web application. Provide it a nice name. My core application. Okay, so here you can see uh, there are six templates. So three are from the earlier versions, and uh, sorry, there are seven, and uh, there are four new for this Core 2.0 uh, framework. So the new ones are this web application which is with razor pages contain the angular which is with uh, the angular uh, content react js and react js and redux this empty web api and mvc are coming from the earlier version itself so for this example for this for this today's video let's select an application ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages content. Select OK. So it has created a basic project project structure, and you can notice there is a new structure named as Pages. Earlier it should be controllers, models, views. That still continues if you select MVC or Web API as an uh, project template. So as we have selected as a razor pages, so there is a new folder named pages, which has uh, this razor pages being added. Now razor pages are uh, razor syntax based pages, which is now uh, supported by .NET Core, or rather they have introduced this uh, razor based pages into this Core 2.0 can see you have an chtml and chtml.cs like it has a page model index model which is being based and you can use this model in your chtml the same way you used to do with controllers so let's run this control f5 .NET Core 2.0 has really made the getting started very much easier by giving this all templates in a ready format with some base code. It is home about contact my core application. Let's deploy this. So deploying and applications Core 2.0 applications with Visual Studio uh, has the same step or you can say uh, has the same simpler method for all the application across the templates like uh, whether it should be an uh, uh, Angular application or React.js application or the Razor base application which is uh, we have selected the template of the procedure or the step remains the same. So just go on to this project structure, project name, right click and click on publish. So this window will uh, provide different methods to deploy this application to Visual, Azure Web Apps, sorry, Azure Web Apps. So this is web deploy method, this is ISFTP through folders, 
through import files or through Azure VMs itself. So for this uh, video, let's select web deploy method. Let's select create new, click on publish. Uh, you need to be logged in with your uh, Microsoft Azure account in order to this window will fetch all your subscription details. It has uh, this app name is nothing but your uh, application name into Azure Web App. This name will be added as this name app name dot Azure Websites dot net. This will be your public cloud Azure URL. So we uh, this remains unique. So you need to provide some unique name. Let's see whether it is available. My core application. Yes. If this is not a uh, available as such it will give an error message over here so as there is no error message means this name is there let the subscription be selected as free tire free trial trial sorry it's sunday today and <laughs> okay so uh, these are the resource group which i have created into my account let's select this as core 2.0 apps can select any app service plan it will give an op option by default let's uh, this default option be selected Click on create that's showing deploying step 0 of 2 it will take fewer minutes to get deployed now it's in step 2 It's still getting deployed. Now, this is the URL which we provided as an app name, my core application, added by dot azure websites.net with some basic configuration details. Once it's deployed, it will open the application into the browser. Let's go to our web portal, Azure web portal, that is portal.azure.com. Let's go to resource group. So this were the group which were which were listed in that drop down, and we selected the score 2.0 apps. Let's click on this. Okay, so as you can see, the application is now deployed, or uh, this web app service has been created into this resource group. My core application. This was the app service plan we selected. Let's go to app services directly you can see you can uh, track the deployment status uh, in this web publish activity so it has given uh, this publish has succeeded with the URL let's go to the URL it has already opened into the new browser you can see the URL it's my core application dot azure websites dot net great so it's live so you are we are our uh, asp.net core 2.0 application with razor pages content is now live on cloud it's working fine okay about us contact us great let's go to this application portal let's click on my core application You can see those details the URL the app service plan resource group everything over here so it's so easy like it took hardly five to six minutes to create an application and to deploy it onto Azure app so really this ASP.NET Core 2.0 framework has made developers life easy to get started so I will I will highly recommend you to get this SDK installed and to dirty your hands with exploring all the new templates along with the steps to get it deployed into Azure app. Hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you and happy Azure coding.